It's a beautiful day today here in Lagos, Nigeria, and today we are doing the groundbreaking ceremony and also a location. Groundbreaking ceremony of Peak Luxury Court Apartments and also another physical allocation coming up today. So I want you to listen to the MDSA explain the apartment. I'm grateful for all your partnership over the years, for how you have been with us this year. For this project, I want to say that God bless you from the bottom of my heart, every one of you. Thank you for trusting in our brand. Thank you for helping us make big um, luxury courts a huge success. Um, we've done very, very well when it comes to the sale of lamps. Um, it's been a very good patronage. But one of the things we want is we want to see how this starts coming up. We want people to start living here. If we continue to sell land, um, I can tell you this place will still be like this for the next two, three years. There will be no movement. So we have intentionally introduced the one bedroom and the two bedroom apartment that we are launching today. Clap, clap, clap if you want to clap. Thank you. There are two things that made us come up with that idea. Number one is, it's very difficult to go affordable these days. Yes or no? Very difficult. But we still know that as much as possible, we still want to be able to offer something in the range of 30 million, which was why we introduced a one bedroom uh, apartment. The one bedroom has a kitchen, a dining, two toilets, one bathroom. Can I have the layout of the floor plan, the floor plan of the building? The floor plan of the building, you can show it to them on both sides. So another person can face this side. This is the one bedroom. You can face this side so they can see it. You will see you have a um, you have an entrance porch, so you usually don't find this in most one bedrooms. The one bedroom is sitting at an average of about 60 square meters, right? Architect, or 66. Sitting at about 66 square meters, that's a very big space. I can tell you an average room is about uh, 12 square meters, 13 square meters. So when you have 66, there is very good circulation. Somebody should face here, somebody should face here. So then we also have a floor plan. So we have a kitchen. The kitchen, you should have two of this. The kitchen is nine square meters. Please face this side if you have The kitchen is nine square meters. So and uh, you have a bedroom. Your bedroom is 18 square meters. So let me, let me give you an idea of what 15 square meters looks like. This is from this pool, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So from that pool to this one, then I have my three meters, one, two, three. So this is like 18 square meters. That is a very big room. It may not appear to you now, but if you have seen our one bedroom challenge at Big Resort is the same. We also have the two bedroom design. We are going to be building them in such a way that they'll be also have they also have another access. Behind this fence is a road. We have another side that's a road. So they also have access to another exit road to so discongest traffic within the estate. Are we together? Yeah. So it doesn't mean that and then we are not going to also build it right in front here. We are going to build it somewhere in the middle. So that the government will not just be here and all the landowners there will go and sleep. No. As people are driving in, they will see their development. They will be motivated to start building and encourage. Already we have about seven people already that their yeah, building approval is ongoing already. So please encourage your clients. Let them submit their drawings, start their building approval. The faster they build, the more money they save actually. And in this economy that we are. So as much as possible, we are going to be pushing it. Then we have the two bedroom. Let me finish with the one bedroom and the floor plan and then the 3D. Can I have the floor plan and the 3D of the one bedroom? And they have two staircases. One in front, one behind. This is a staircase. Can you show them the floor plan on this side too? Boy, I only want architects here. If you are not an architect, don't hold this thing. So I'll be asking for a block plan to show me a picture. I only want architects. Where are the builders? 
engineers, the biggest engineers, come here. So that um, HR will not be voting for and be showing me floor plan. <laughs> so this is a floor plan. Okay. It's old. Somebody should hold this side. Hello, Mr. Guy. Come on, hold this side. Somebody else hold this side too. All right. So you will see it has two staircases. One, the green area is where we have a staircase. So there are two staircases servicing the one bedroom. Now, when I come to the 3D, show me the 3D now. The 3D of the one bedroom. Very, very lovely design. Okay, so we chose this concept. Um, this is classic design. Okay, this is a bigger one here, but you know, they won't be able to see it. So, this is a classic design. It's different from contemporary. Can you see it? Um, so, I'll explain to you. Oh, you are not getting very excited. What's different between contemporary and classic design? Basically, contemporary has to do with uh, what's much more common. Close to the European um, design, modern architecture. But when it comes to classic, a lot of things um, have to come in play. You talk of cornices, you talk of um, having uh, concrete facials, sometimes you have finishes mostly in white. So they come in grand style. Thank you. So now, if you look at why we chose adopted this design, if you are building a contemporary building, because I've had some people ask questions on this. You will just have balcony to the stainless release, Abby, yeah. or glass. You will not have concrete facials. You will not have cornices. In the 3D, there are even cornices here. All these are artistic work. If you look at European buildings like Buckingham Palace, Paris, the old buildings, classic buildings of Victorian designs, they are timeless. They are just like that for a long time. So when you see balustrade, it doesn't mean it is old house or not a village house. The balustrades are actually more expensive than glass or stainless. But as it is, this is how the house will maintain its look for a long time. Just continue to paint it. A typical example is the American White House. If you look at Otuba Shibomi's house, the late Otuba in Nikoi, if you look at typical FCMB buildings, the way they do their cornices, those are classic designs. It's different from sliding window, glass. Yes, they are good, but they, they appeal to different categories of people. So that's the design we have. Now they have, all of them have access to the balcony. All of them have access to the balcony in front. So we are having, actually it's like eight in a block. But we also look for a way to join the two blocks together. So it makes it look like a block of 16. But in actual sense, we have an imaginary division in between them. Are we together? Yes. So let me go to the two bedroom floor plan now. These two bedroom floor plan, I have to battle with my QSC to say that <laughs> this price I am putting is ridiculous. I said, let us start it this pre launch. So after 10 days time, the price is going up by 10 million. Okay. 10 this. Yes, today is 12. 10 million yeah, really. After 10 days. Okay, so I will, how many of these do we have? Two. Good. Okay, so face this side. So I would explain this two bedroom also. The two bedroom also has a balcony. It has a living room. The living room is 29, but that's about 30 square meters. You know, if you can see, we are very generous with space. Um, 30 square meters average, this span is about how many meters? It's up to five. This is five. So this should be five by six. Five by six is 30 square meters. So I have a living room that is 30, no, 25.9. It's 25.9. Then I have a kitchen, 17.5. So my kitchen is as big as, when I measured um, three meters like this, all the way so inside your kitchen you can have your dining you can have so many things and then the two rooms are also and so the room is also 16.6 square meters and i think i said we should have the balcony for the, for the rooms they have terraces
this is the ground floor plan. The upper floor plans have balconies, meaning I mean from the first floor. You know, on the ground floor, your balcony will not show because you are just on the ground. So from the first floor, the rooms also have like a sit out, like a terrace where they can sit out and then enjoy the fresh air. This design also presently we now have um, this. How much are we selling it now? No, for two bedrooms. 30. 30. Now, because a lot of people have said, oh, I think you see your finishing is too basic. Yeah, it's not luxury. You can't blame us to say you don't kill us. It's because we are we are selling affordable housing, so we have to just make it basic. But based on the demand to be get, a lot of people keep changing and um, they feel this form. What's that form? Modification form saying that okay, I want you to step up the kitchen for me. I want you to step up this for me. I want to so as a result, we created three categories: the basic, the basic, you are still going to get your house finished. Everything, toilet, tiles, WC, kitchen, but it does not have anything electronic. Does it electronic what I mean? No gas cooker, no microwave, no heat extractor. So when you now move to premium, premium, you will get a higher grade of tiles. The door you will get are HDF doors, no China door. Your external door will also be wooden, well polished cedar or mahogany doors. Then your kitchen will also have microwave, will have extractor, wow. will have cooker units. And then, so when we now move to the, then also your prints will be Dulux. Wow. That's for the premium. When you now get to the luxury, your sitting room will be Stucco. Stucco finish. How many of you know Stucco finish? Very fine. White with glass. We have Stucco in the living room, all the corridors. The rooms will be do lots, and then you get everything that premium has. I have got, and they will come with wardrobes. So that is what you will get for. So for the lots, is almost like pay and pack. You just bring in your furniture, AC, and then you get everything luxury finish. Right. Yeah. So the basic is twenty five. The premium is extra three million. So it makes it twenty eight. Then you cannot go for the luxury extra five million. That makes it thirty three. For one bed, yes. So for the two bed, we have the basic is 30, the premium is 33, then the luxury is 38. So it's very, very fair. So like I said earlier, for the premium, it will include the lot paint, internal painting, wooden HDF doors, fitted kitchen with hookah top, microwave, extractor, and then luxury tiles. Then the luxury finishing, you'll get stucco wall finish for living room areas, cooker top, microwave, you would also be able to choose a TV console of your choice. So for the luxury, yes. So if you said, I like this, we'll give you like maybe five options of TV console. So they will tweet on the wall for you before you bring in your TV. Then you also have glass cubicle for the bathrooms, extractor, and the rest. Okay, so that's what we have for this project. And then um, we are hoping that by God's grace, um, we'll finish it in record time. We have allowed a period of 18 months for construction, and this is because also when you're building an apartment, from the experience we had in one of the apartments we launched in Oribawa, when you do apartments, you cannot bank on people's suspicion to do it. Because when somebody disappoints, it can affect the whole block. Are we together? So in this case now, we have intentionally created a separate team for it, separate funding for it. One of the things we are also doing as an organization to mitigate the high price of things is we want to buy God, we just be building ahead. And uh, we believe that we will not run at a loss that way. So we'll even see people who have ready made that want to buy ready made. Yes, we are trying to clear up a lot of backlogs that we've had from some of our projects, predominantly Pramon and Phase 3. We've had issues in the past. And before December, I'm sure that everything will be clear by the grace of God. So we know that we are running in fresh race by God's grace. Intentionally, this year also, we have reduced our sale of building. Till date, we've only been able to only sold about 15% of our portfolio as buildings. As against 2021, 2022, that we do more of building bungalows, 
apartment terraces where we have a ratio of, so in a typical year we might set our total sales might be 80 percent building 20 percent land but now we have swapped it it's almost 85 percent land 50 percent building and that is because we have, there's a limit to what we can control when it comes to building this is land is land <laughs> So you can easily manage your losses, you can manage your profits. So but for building, we are also very careful. And it's not in our own um, philosophy to come back to client to say, things are burning wire, come and add extra money. The VKC doesn't do that. It's a very tough decision to take. But you know, God has been helping us. And you know, we pray that we'll come out strong in all of this. I'll be happy to take questions and then I can move to the next thing after you take questions. Other projects we have upcoming, um, this is an opportunity to also talk about them. We have in Peak Royale, inside Appling Land Estates, I'm coming from there now, and it's a government um, allocation with COO. We'll be launching it next month inside Appling Land Estates before you get to this place. It's an already built up community. And then we also have other projects we are also doing. Oshobo is the Olimoni Estate. And then maybe by December, we'll be launching some affordable lands at Eleko. So go and start telling your clients also save money. They can launch, they can lock in or lock in with just 2 million naira. Title is also CFO. See what companies that are doing upland is the most dangerous thing to do in an unstable economy. Yes. Extremely dangerous. Extremely. So a company that doesn't have reserve or have other things to shock up the difference, there is no way they will not have issues. It's not going to just be issues of late delivery. It's be issues of we can't go ahead again. That is a loss. So when you sell that, like I told you, well, maybe you're not here. I said before now, our model has always been 80% of what we sell in a typical calendar year are usually buildings. Because we are core engineers, professionals, construction companies. So it gives us jobs. But secondly, if we continue that way with the way the economy is now, a typical house that we sold 15 million, and now we are using 27 million to complete it. Hmm. If you ask me now who I go, I go ask. He <laughs> help you for mouth, I'm telling you. But if it is land, so but thank God also, one of the things that helped us to take this decision was um a rating was done on our organization and then we were able to see a lot of things that we need to change. One of it was the fact that we saw that the people were giving us a lot of losses. Literally, we're using the profit from lands to make up for it. So how long do we want to do that? So we had to intentionally focus on land this year. So far this year, the total sales we have made is only 15% built, which we are happy. Land is 5%. If it is more than that, you could actually sell the house now, and within the next two months, the money you have collected has been devalued from dollar, from market forces, inflation and then it's, it's said the dollar is the least of my edit because the way materials goes up is more than dollar far more so iron is over 500 kg cement is still over 5000 so if you want to buy one if you have one at 3005 i'll be buying two shops for me every day so you have to go and carry the boy in shokoto and bring you to big lottery so if you buy a three five in Shokoto, you buy when you get it, you more than six thousand. So as much as possible, it doesn't make any sense. So if you come and are still trying to push out building, uh, you should be thanking them. And secondly, there's a new legislation out there now. Before it used to be five hundred thousand per unit for IDC. Do you have any planner in the house? Any planner in the house? Yes. I'm sure she knows IDC. Infrastructure development charges, maybe the government charges. Because of this road now, it's now one million there. So if you have a block of four flat, apart from your approval money, apart from your material testing that will come, apart from lab car, apart from environment, apart from which other one comes to your site. Loma, you will pay a separate four million naira. Can't pay. How much is the profit? 
You have me even you can't even make one million, one million naira per per year per apartment for one bedroom or two million. So if you even make it three million and one million is made already for IDC, you have physical plan, you have all these things. It doesn't make any sense again. So that's the challenge. Thank you. And that's why you see prices going up. It's not intentional. So when we said the price will go up in ten days, is because we know what has happened between now and then again, and to be able to. After 10 days, then the price will remain for a while. At least we know we are not selling at a loss. We can see it against losses. Any more questions, please? So, um, in the absence of no other questions, we are going to be going into allocations. For those who want to do allocations, we'll also do the groundbreaking. If you have any questions on the drawing, I'll be happy to explain the drawing to you. Then let me show you the 3D of the two-bedroom. The two-bedroom is very fine. Very, very. Also, it is eight per block. So you can see there's a division between one block and the other. So this deck is only serving, this deck is serving this flat, this flat, this flat. The ground floor doesn't need access to this deck. Is. This one also, let me turn it to them here also. So this is a two bedroom. And then we are working with three um, good tested. Um, contracting companies that will be executing this project in very good time with us. Okay. Any questions? In the absence of none, please kindly see by suppliers for your allocation and then want to go and do the groundbreaking and we'll stand up and go towards that place that's prepared for us. Thank you. So MD had just finished explanation of the one and two bedroom apartment that we're going to be building right here in Peak Luxury Court. This is the uh, 3D design you can see right here. And we are doing the groundbreaking ceremony right now and the official grand opening ceremony for the project. Of course, we already commenced the building of three bedroom terrace duplex, which is already going on. Right now, we want to add one and two bedroom apartment three one on one on two bedroom flat also so uh this is a very good place like i told you the monastery road is a nice destination for luxury homes and also beaches resort a lot of beaches resort are coming up already at the end of the monastery because the load has been talked all the way from the monastery road down to the uh where we have those resorts right there the data company the mtn office are already right there and uh, very we are going right now for the allocation so this is the allocation of our client we already done the first batch of allocation this is the next batch of allocation massive work is ongoing at the moment a lot of uh, building already uh, you can see building right there even before we get to this side so uh, this is a very large expanse of land and um, a lot of clients who invested have been allocated so so if you are not finished payment just hold on when the next batch once you are done you can be allocated and of course this is the best time to plan and so this is the best time to plant your investment on the monastery road a lot of people who planted their investment in Oki road today are making massive return on their investment if you miss out on buying a land right here in peak loss record another opportunity is for you to buy a house right here so 10 days from now 2nd of october the price will change so give me a call today let me help you secure it